Hey, what is up guys, it's Thunderstruck115, and today I have some concerning information regarding Griffin. Specifically, how he hasn't really been himself for a little over a year at this point. Griffin's channel is one that I can only explain as one that took a complete massive nosedive overnight sometime about over a year ago. And like, there's a huge difference of quality in his content ever since then compared to what he has been before. And he's been involved in so many controversies that it's almost like he's a completely different person. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Unfortunately, it appears that that is exactly the case. The Griffin Gaming that we all know and love from the good old days and the Griffin Gaming of today are two different people. And it seems to me that Griffin is a victim of greater forces. Or rather, an individual. One with a goal in mind. And that man is none other than Big Man Gamers. Back in 2019, 2020, and 2021, Griffin was experiencing the golden age of his channel. Content was great and came out on a consistent basis, it was of high quality, and they all seemed to do fairly well. And then in late 2021, the whole Discord drama happened. And ever since then, Griffin's just been a shell of his former self. Except he hasn't, because the real Griffin is not running his channel anymore. It was taken over by Big Man Gamers. How do I know this? Well, have you noticed that up until the Discord drama, Griffin hasn't really been involved in any sort of major drama, but ever since then, he just can't stop taking L after L, not to mention his quality of content declined? That can't be a coincidence. It is my belief that during the Discord drama, Big Man Gamers took advantage of Griffin's lower defense in order to kidnap him and assume the role of Griffin Gaming. He is the only one I can really think of with both the sophistication and the reason to actually pull this off. Other PlayStation fanboys like Crap Gamer and The Amazing Lucas might have a grudge against Griffin, but they don't have the sophistication of Big Bang Gamers. And since Griffin primarily built his channel off of roasting PlayStation fanboys, it's safe to say that PlayStation fanboys are behind this, or one in particular, and if you narrow it down, Big Bang Gamers is the only one who merely makes sense. Have you noticed that not only has the quality of Griffin's content declined ever since the Discord drama, but the quantity as well? His upload schedule was extremely inconsistent, with long waits between videos when usually you'd only need to wait like a week or two for videos prior to them. That is, until sometime about eight months ago when his upload schedule became far more consistent. And what else happened eight months ago? Big Man Gamers stopped uploading videos to his channel. Griffin's MO clearly shows that it's not the same person, and now that Big Man Gamers has stopped uploading, I think it's confirmation. He stopped focusing on making content for his own channel to focus on impersonating Griffin. And he's been able to do it before. In early 2021, he made some fairly crude imitations of Griffin, but over time it is my belief that he perfected this. But it's not perfect, which is why he's gotten into so many controversies. See, Big Man Gamer's portrayal of Griffin isn't really so much of Griffin, but rather a caricature of him that Big Man Gamers believes to be Griffin's behavior. With this frame of reference, a lot of the controversies he's been involved with over the past year or so make a lot more sense. Let's consider them one by one. First up, the Axeman Vanguard drama. In many of Big Man Gamers' videos, he often portrays Griffin as only playing a few games meant for Xbox and PC fanboys, usually listing games like Fortnite, Minecraft, PUBG, CSGO, Anthem, Fallout 76, and COD. Now, if we know Big Man Gamers, he hates any game that isn't a PlayStation exclusive. That includes Call of Duty, and therefore he's gonna think it's bad. But he believes Griffin to be a COD fanboy due to the fact that he's a PC elitist. Meaning, regardless of if the real Griffin would have liked Vanguard or not, he sees it as, it's another Call of Duty game. Griffin is a PC elitist, therefore he must simp for Call of Duty. That's the logic going on in Big Man Gamer's head. Of course, Call of Duty Vanguard is a horrible game, and I'm pretty sure most people would agree with that statement. Even Big Man Gamers, but not for the right reason. And since he sees Griffin as a Call of Duty simp, he's gonna fanboy for it when the Act Man starts criticizing it. Something very similar is also the case with the RTX 4090 situation. Except this time, it appeals more directly to Big Man Gamer's image of Griffin's fanboyism for PC gaming. 
in his mind, Griffin would absolutely suck the cock of anything NVIDIA releases, and try to defend it from any sort of criticism, which is exactly why he got in hot water for calling people brokies for not wanting to buy the new RTX 40 series of graphics cards. The real Griffin probably wouldn't have fanboyed so hard, but again, this is a caricature of Griffin being played by big man gamers, not Griffin himself. Of course, overt fanboyism isn't the only thing that big man Griffins is going to use. Recall the situation with Kretosis. He tried calling him out as being a furry simply for having an animal as his profile picture. Now, where have we heard that before? Oh, that's right, when Griffin made a joke about how PlayStation was for the furries because of the game Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. While I think it's pretty obvious that that was meant as a joke when Griffin said that, big man gamers took that to heart and used that sort of logic to try and slander Kretosis. Now, while this might explain those controversies, it doesn't explain every single one. What gives? Well, I think now we need to explain why big man is doing this. And if you know big man gamers, I think it's pretty obvious. He's a PlayStation fanboy. His sole purpose in life is to convince everybody that PlayStation is the one true way in gaming. Of course, that goes for a lot of other PlayStation fanboys, but their methods of just yelling at people saying that Xbox is trash or PC is trash, you gotta play only on PlayStation because of exclusives. Big Man Gamers is smart. He's picked up on the fact that people are just gonna point and laugh when people do that, and so he needed an alternative approach. Which explains why he's holding Griffin in his basement. The fish rots from the head, so to speak. And I think it's pretty obvious that nobody in the PC Master Race community is more infamous than Griffin Gaming. He is the head of PC Master Race. Don't you guys see? He's forcing him to play The Last of Us 2 on repeat until he finally breaks and realizes that PlayStation is the way. And it is my belief that once Griffin has fully broken and completely submits to being a PlayStation fanboy, that he will take control of his channel once again and use it to spread pro-PlayStation messages. Every group looks to their leader. And if the leader of the PC Master Race starts spouting pro-PlayStation propaganda and has been totally converted into joining PlayStation, it won't be long before the rest of the PC Master Race falls as well. They too will become Sony ponies. And it is my belief that he may try doing something similar with the Xbox and the Nintendrones, but he's focusing on the PC Master Race first since they're the biggest group. However, if Griffin reassumes control of his channel and all of a sudden he turns into a PlayStation fanboy like the flip of a Switch, nobody's gonna believe him. Which brings us to the other controversies I haven't addressed yet. These weren't so much to maintain the appearance of Griffin by acting through a caricature, but rather to slowly introduce a gradual progression of Griffin becoming a Sony pony. Before the Discord drama, he defended Halo Infinite from the Act Man. But then after the fact, all of a sudden, he starts shitting on the game? Well, it's no secret that Halo is Xbox's biggest franchise, and since Xbox is usually the most direct enemy of PlayStation, it makes sense that he would shit on it. Additionally, the relatively recent drama where he tried claiming that a Forts of Horizon 5 bundle for the Xbox Series X was equivalent to a price increase was also an attempt to make Griffin seem more like a Sony pony before he actually came back in full force. This establishes a history of him defending Sony and attacking Sony's competitors, so that when Griffin reassumes control of his channel, it's not so extreme. The only one I can't 100% say for sure is the one where he defended Quantum during the whole Act Man Quantum drama towards the tail end of that whole controversy. The only thing I can really think of is that the Act Man is an Xbox fan. Meanwhile, Quantum TV has made video shitting on the Xbox Series X, claiming that you should wait for the mid-gen refresh. That may be why Big Man Gamers had Griffin side with Quantum over the Act Man, though admittedly it does seem tenuous at best. But what about Griffin? Well, judging from the patterns I've witnessed on his channel, it looks like the brainwashing hasn't taken hold just yet, and that Big Man Gamers is still running it. But Griffin's been locked in this basement for over a year at this point. He's tough, but he'll break eventually, and at this point, the brainwashing has still set in fairly deeply. It's possible to save him, but there's not much time. 
We need to find him and get him to an RTX 4090 as soon as possible. Or we'll lose him forever and he'll be a PlayStation fanboy for the rest of time. He'll then convert the PC Master Race into being Sony ponies. It won't be long before the Xbox and Nintendo fanboys fall victim as well. Soon, we'll all be playing on PlayStation. We'll be playing nothing but story walking simulators with more cutscenes than gameplay. That is what's at stake, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what we must prevent. Oh, hello? Uh, come in. Wait. No, stay back. Don't come any closer. I'm warning you. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Or you are next, Big Man Gamers. Out!